UAE deport 400 Nigerians. 400 Nigerians currently are back home. Indeed, no place like home. Why some other Nigerians are preparing to travel to UAE, travel to Dubai? 400 Nigerians have been deported back to their country, to their fatherland, to their motherland. What are they coming to Nigeria to do? Somebody that possibly their family members must have sold the land to send to UAE for a better life. Now they are back home. Please share this video, drop a comment, and let us know what you think about this video. Don't forget to follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. In our discussion today, 400 Nigerians have been deported back to the country. And you were you really understand that for years right now, UAE, Dubai, they have actually restricted Nigerians due to one factor or the other. Although they have lifted up the ban for Nigerians, but but Nigerians are yet to really get the kind of attention that really they needed. But one we, we, we ask why why was actually 400 Nigerians? Why were they deported back home? Why? 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 That may be the question of many people. Maybe, maybe they want to really know why they were deported back home. But the major thing is this. The major thing is that if we really have the kind of government that we really need, if we really have the kind of infrastructure we need, if we have the kind of encouragement that every government should be given to its citizens, do you think that Nigerians will be seeking for traveling to different parts of the world just to find a better life, when there are better life in their country? Do you think that the other, all these foreign countries, do you don't think they will, they will regard and value Nigerians whenever they see, they see one in their own country? Just imagine a U.S. citizen coming to Nigeria. The question is, what are you coming to Nigeria to do? What business are you coming to do? What really better life do you think you, you can actually get in Nigeria that you can't get in U.S. or that or that, or that developed country? So, what I'm trying to say in a sense is this. As Nigerian, we must come together and say this is really the country we want. As Nigeria, we must come together and build a nation that we are going to be proud of. Not not during election time, people will run away and then we you know end of the day deportation will bring you back. But I pray it will never be so for you who are, who is actually watching this back live video. But the major thing is that four hundred Nigeria that are back home, we say welcome back home. Welcome back place for no place like home. But to our government and uh, our government and various institutions, please, a lot needs to be done to ensure that the, um, to ensure that Nigeria is being regarded nationwide. A lot needs to be done to ensure that Nigeria is not really safe for a better life in abroad or in other developed country. Why we are still looking for a way to survive in our beloved country? Please share this video, drop a comment, and let us know what you think about this video. Don't forget to follow Casa TV. On Facebook and YouTube. My dear brother and sister, before you think about traveling, before you think about going to the other country, before you think about selling your properties, selling your your investment, your house, your real estate, your everything you may think about having, before you think about selling that land, before you think about selling all your property in, in, in the name of traveling abroad, please have a rethink and ask yourself, where am I going to? What am I going to do over there? Because um, these 400 Nigeria that they are, were deported, if they were wealthy, if they were rich, I don't think they would have deported them. If they have um, the kind of resources that they need to survive in this country, I don't think really they would deport them. If they have the kind of money for them to you know, spend in that particular country, because no nation, no country is ready to deport someone that have money. So once you have no money and you can, you can uh, you know, spend it in the country, you are welcome. But when you don't have the money and um, you, you don't have any money, it's not a causing problem to the nation. They send you back to your country. So, and your country, unfortunately, will not reject you. That, that is the irony of life. Nobody will reject you in your own country. So, welcome back home. But before you travel, for those who want to travel, before you travel, think about what you really want to do in another man's country. Think about it and think about it and make sure you are making the right decision. Although that uh, Nigeria may not be really where it's supposed to be. But when they send you back home, you are now back home. And at that particular time, whether it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be or not, you are back home. So before you travel, think and ask yourself, do I really need to go to this country? And why should I go? And just look at, look every chances. And uh, unfortunately, if you don't have anybody in that country, that will make it, um, that will make the case. It will be difficult. Welcome back home to 400 Nigeria that are, uh, that you are deported from UAE, welcome back home. We cannot reject you, no place like home. Thank you.